Alright, so today we are going to talk about um, time constant of a first order control system, tau, like this. Tau is the time at which the system response or the output reaches its 63.2% of its final value. It doesn't matter if the system is stable or not, here we are just dealing with the final value. Okay, let's say we have... Um, the following uh, closed loop system. This is the tower we are talking about. It's a time measured in on seconds. Okay, so let's say that we have this um, error as a step input of magnitude or size of A, whose in Laplace term form can be represented as follows R of S, which is our input, equals to A over S, where A is the size or magnitude of our input. In this case, it's a step input. Okay. So, if we have this system, if we draw uh, 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 the characteristics of its output, let's say uh, we have time here, and this is out our output in time. So, let's assume if this is a final value, if this is our response, the final value here is going to be like A times K, where K is a static or DC gain, as shown here. Okay, so if we assume that we have tau here, this is a tau, time tau, if you go on top from here, if you go up to here, and going to the left up to here, here we'll be having 0 .0 0 0.632 AK, where AK is our final value as shown here. Let's see an example. Let's say we have now, uh, from this system, we have like uh, Y of S over R of S equals to, uh, let's say here, 2 over um, 1 times S plus 1. As you can see here, tau equals to 1, k equals to 2, and let's say our R of S equals to 5 over S, 5 over S. So what do we expect here? We should expect that our final value will be 2 times 5. So final value will be equals to 10. And our time constant tau will be equals to 1. As you can see, it's 1 here. So, once we have simulation for, for, for this system, if you go up to 1 second, if you go to the top, from the 1 second, if you go to the top, we should expect 6.32 of our final value. Why 6.32? Because our final value will be 10. So, 6.32 will be, uh, uh, as we said uh, uh, before, will be 63.2 value of our final value which is 10. So uh, let's go and see the simulation. Okay, I have already uh, uh, <coughs> mounted our system here. As you can see, this is our transfer function. K equals to 2, uh, tau equals to uh, 1. And our, um, and our input, magnitude of our input equals to 5, as we said before. So we'll be expecting 5 times 2 to be our final value. So let's simulate and see our results. Okay, here we have our results. This is 5, our input, magnitude or size of our input, uh, which is step input. We can see here it's 5. And here we can see our uh, output or system response, which is final, final value equals to 10 as we expected, which is 5 times which is uh, uh, um, our static or DC gain and as I said before it doesn't mean it, it doesn't matter if the system is stable or not we are dealing with uh, the final value so let's see uh, where is tau we said from our system okay from our given system here um, from our given system here we said tau equals to 1 so let's go to time equals to 1 second as you can see here if we trace to the top you can see here approximately equals to 6.32 which is 63.2% of our final value which is 10. 
So what's a big deal to do with uh, tau? To know tau is important because uh, it's later on is going to introduce the very important concept which is called a uh, system bandwidth.